You know what I love? Sports. To me, there's nothing better than the sensation of sports. You know, putting the thing into the other thing, scoring the points for the team. Yay, sports! You're kidding, right? Your entire last video was literally just making fun of sports. Hush. But you know what I like even more than sports? Toasters. I'm sorry, but what? Nothing feels better to me than the idea of putting bread in the slot, pushing down, waiting like 30, 40, 50 seconds, and then BOOM! Toast! But you know what's even better than sports and toast? Putting them together. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. Now, I've tried putting together toasters and sports, but haven't really had much success. Luckily, someone's already done a much better job than I ever could at putting those together. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Toaster Bubble. Toaster Ball is a couch co-op game where you play sports. With toasters. Simple concept, really. The basic gameplay is super easy to get the hang of. Just push the buttons on your toaster to eject toast and jump. The longer you press, the higher you jump, and the more toasted your bread becomes. Burn your bread and break it, and you've lost it until the next round. First person to five points wins. While the basic gameplay is pretty simple, there's enough variations to keep things interesting. You have mega toasters with no bread, levels with two balls instead of one, no doors, and my personal favorite, the Atari Pong version. The controls are easy enough to pick up and learn, since you only have to use three keys total, the buttons to jump your toast, and the button to pick your toast up if it drops. Quick caveat here, since this button wasn't mentioned in the instructions for the game, I didn't know it was a function at first, which could easily hurt play, if only for a small bit. So, would I play this game? Of course. It's a lot of fun, the graphics are enjoyable, and overall it's a great experience. That, that's it. Review. Review over. Or is it? So you might be wondering how exactly I discovered this game. Or maybe you are wondering, I honestly have no idea what you're thinking. You'd be smart to assume that I saw a review for the game on a website like IGN, or maybe saw the trailer for the game on YouTube. But surprisingly, I didn't discover this game through that sort of thing whatsoever. My discovery of Toaster Ball actually started with a gif posted to the subreddit r slash indie gaming that showed how the Toaster Ball dev team created bolts of electricity and breaking down the steps they used to create the effect. The GIF interested me, so I looked more into their development team, and what I found amazed me. See, the team that's working on Toaster Ball, Couch Game Crafters, is a two-person team from France, making this entire game from the ground up. While their Kickstarter campaign for the game was a success, it only barely passed its goal of 8,500 euros. The project has never been some huge success like Cuphead or Ukulele, but Alex and Simon, the guys behind Couch Game Crafters, said they aren't in it for the success. These guys have a passion for creating indie games. As they say in their Kickstarter campaign, our goal is to simply to keep making games, always trying to get better at our craft and hopefully bring you and your friends together around snacks, beers, and game controllers. This passion for creating something new is what I love the most about this project, and ultimately what I love the most about indie gaming. All indie developers have one thing in common. They have an idea for something new, something unique, and they want to take that idea and share it with the people around them. While the idea might be completely ridiculous, the passion behind turning that idea into reality is what always shines through. It creates a drive, a dedication, and a desire to make their work excellent, even if the final product isn't a huge success. Heck, maybe I wouldn't even be willing to make this series if it wasn't for indie developers. Recording footage using my cell phone camera, or making narrations using the microphone on my earbuds. But if these indie developers are willing to put so much into their projects, even if it's not that much of a success, maybe I can do the same thing.
ultimately for me it's not necessarily about the getting the massive YouTube views or creating some giant channel. It's just about sharing the passion that indie developers have for creating games with other people. And if only one person or two people are interested in that, then so be it. I've done my job well. If you want to learn more about Couch Game Crafters and Hoster Ball, I will drop a link right here so you can take a look at their videos on their YouTube channel, as well as links down below for their website and project page. If you want to subscribe and check out more of my stuff, you can just click right up here. And then if you want to see my last video, I'll leave it up in the end card. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in another one of these.